Hey guys, welcome back to the Kichuk family channel. Today we'll be making a soup that is really popular in our household, the Zuppa Toscana. For this recipe, we'll need Italian sausage, one onion, garlic, potatoes, heavy whipping cream, bouillon, kale, and last but not least, some croutons. So once the pot is pretty much heated through, go ahead and put in some of this Italian sausage. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and mash up this meat. After about five minutes or so, you can see it's pretty much brown. You just go ahead and take it out with a slotted spoon. You can leave the oil in there, it's no problem since you will be cooking the onions right in the same pot. If there's not that much oil, you could easily add a couple tablespoons. Here, I'm just going to dice up this onion and throw it in the same pot. If there's not enough oil, just go ahead and use some. So this is about five minutes later. What I'm going to do here is just add my garlic. Don't skip out on the garlic. It adds a lot of depth and flavor to it. So just add the garlic in, let it steer. And once you smell that garlic cooking, that's when you should go ahead and add the potatoes. Give it a good steer. Definitely season it with some salt. Just go ahead and add a couple tablespoons of the bouillon. I used the chicken one for this recipe. And after that, just go ahead and add 10 cups of water. Give it a good stir so that chicken bouillon can melt. And just cook for about seven to eight minutes until the potato is easily pierced but not falling apart. So I'm going to add one cup of heavy whipping cream. I've made this soup enough to know how much I need. I'm actually adding two cups because this is double portion for our family. So that's why it might look like a lot of soup since it's a double portion, but the uh, ingredients I showed in the beginning is for one portion. Okay, so we are adding the meat back into the pot. Now, if you really don't want that grease on top, I really enjoy the in the soup because it adds flavor. You can just drain the meat and that way it won't have that deep orange yellow color on top. Last but not least, we just add the kale in. And once it's that dark green color, you know it's fully cooked. Since I am making two portions of this soup, I did use up the whole bag. So it needs to just simmer for about a minute or so until you see this dark green color. And there you have it. Under 30 minutes, you have this delicious pot of soup. All our family enjoys it. Um, it's, it's a delicious version of Zuppa Toscana. I know there's a lot of different ways of making the soup. This is just our way, my family's way of making it. I've been making this recipe for over 10 years. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.